for the axle bar clean and press. We're going to begin by setting up our bar. Now, this is using a two inch thick diameter Apollon's axle from Iron Mind. You can also use a homemade one from some uh, two inch OD or outer diameter pipe. Some uh, manufacturers just have a solid pipe and they weld some collars onto it. Uh, this one uh, actually has the, the threading and it has some notching. Does not have knurling. Most of these bars will not have knurling, but it's a good idea to set up some type of notch or tape system to let you know where the center of the bar is and to give you a couple reference points that you know are the exact same distance from the center. In the case of this bar, I have a center piece right here and two outside notches that are the same distance from the center that allow me to line up my hands. Something unique about the axle bar or true axle bar is that these collars, they do not rotate. The whole bar is a single uh, static unit. It rotates together uh, inside uh, the plate. So it, there's no collars that rotate separately. If I can't move this, uh, then I can't move this. It all rotates together and that brings in another challenge with this type of specialty bar. For the clean and press with the axle bar, we're not going to do a true clean where we're catching it in the squat position. We're actually going to be performing a power clean. You can also do this with a hang clean. Keep in mind, this exercise is going to involve a lot more grip strength than you would with a barbell, and you're not going to catch it quite the same way that you would with a barbell. Typically with a power clean, you're catching with the elbows forward because that bar diameter is so small that it can fit on the wrist just fine and allows you to have some flexion or some extension in your wrist as you catch, and you have a lot of space up near your collarbone and your shoulders to be able to catch it as it whips up and you receive it in that position. The axle bar is so thick, when you clean it, you're literally just gonna bring it up to the rack position with the forearms already vertical and your arms already set up in that overhead press position. So, grip is a factor and the amount of uh, mobility or, or a maneuvering that you can do with this specialty bar is going to be quite different than you would with a regular barbell. The last thing to keep in mind with this bar versus a barbell is a barbell actually has some whip to it where sometimes if you've seen a lot of weight on a barbell there's actually some flexion to it, some give, especially with really good Olympic weightlifting barbells there's going to be a very noticeable amount of whip to it that allows the bar to absorb a lot of the forces from the plates and the weight that they're producing from the gravity. In this case, there's almost no give to this bar. So that's something to definitely keep in mind. So start with the lower weight. First thing you want to do is center yourself on that barbell. I'm going to use my center notch. My feet are going to be about shoulder width apart and they're going to be equal distance from the center of that barbell. You may decide to go further in with your feet. Uh, sometimes people actually prefer more of a hip width stance and that's okay. Toes are going to be straight ahead, heels are down. You're going to line up this bar with the center of your feet. In other words, you don't want to have it sitting on top of your toes and you don't want it already brushing up against the ankles before we set up the hips and knees. Directly over the center of the, the foot, set up my knees and hips. I'm going to bend at my knees and hips, mostly at my hips. As I bend at my knees, my shins are going to come forward, slightly touching that bar. I'm going to set up my hands just outside my legs. Make sure they're not cramming into the side of your shins that where you're touching them. I'm going to have my arms just outside of my, my knees. My thumb and fingers are going to get wrapped around. My knuckles are going to be pointing straight down. In other words, we don't want to grip the bar like so where the knuckles are up or where there's a bend in the wrist. Once you've established your grip, you're going to bend that bar backwards screwing your shoulders into your upper back, setting up your upper back to align with your neutral spine. Again, slight bend in the knees, mostly at the hips, set up my grip. Once I've established my grip and bent that bar back, I'm gonna pull my hips down using the weight of the bar. I'm gonna take in my belly breath, I'm gonna extend my knees and hips and shrug my shoulders, catching it in the rack position. From here, now you notice you can go a little forward, but 
uh, with the elbows like you would a conventional barbell, but in this case, it's so thick, I cannot rotate forward. Instead, I'm gonna stay in my rack position. I'm gonna squeeze my glutes, take in my belly breath, forearms vertical, grip the barbell. Drive that barbell overhead until the arms are fully extended, arms are in line with the ears. Come back down the rack, back down the legs, bend at the knees and hips, return to the ground. You can either continue to go through with your repetitions, typically with this type of bar and this exercise, you want to stay in that two to five rep range or just complete some singles. And that's how you do an axle bar clean and press.